he was asking about uh, the possibility of runaway greenhouse effect, um, which did occur on Venus uh, because of the Venus being closer to the sun. And to get the runaway greenhouse effect, you want to get the carbon in the Earth's crust into the atmosphere. Um, and um, I speculated in my book, Storms of My Grandchildren, that, uh, that that might happen if we burned all of the fossil fuels. It turns out that's not right. Um, the, but what we can do, uh, we, we still have the, the ability to destroy life on the planet. But to get the, earth, the carbon out of the Earth's crust, the time scale for that is of the order of 100 million years. And this, this uh, CO2 that we put in the atmosphere by burning fossil fuels will go back to the bottom of the ocean too fast uh, and get to become carbonates on the ocean floor. And so it's not unlike the brighter sun light at, at Venus, it, it, which was maintained continually, this spike of CO, human-made spike of CO2 will be too short. Um, so um, you cannot get that runaway greenhouse effect, but you can get enough warming to uh, make life at low latitudes impossible. And uh, all the chaos, and, and then once you have sea level going up, and half, more than half of the major cities in the world are on coastlines, so you could have such chaos that the planet would become ungovernable, and I don't know what's going to happen in that case. <laughs> Let's go to another question, please. Yeah.